Okay, here's my first uh, attempt at making this um, hydroxy, this HHO gas they talk about. It's a real simplified little uh, cell I made here with some stainless steel hose clamps in a little um, bowl with some um, distilled water, which is what they recommend. And the um, this is drain cleaner, but it's 100% lye. And uh, what you do is you sprinkle in the lye into the solution until you get a certain amount of gas flow versus amperage draw. And what this is doing, it's running off the back end of the Bedini here. Uh, the Bedini is running on 12 volts uh, at a battery, and then I've also got a 12 volt power supply running into it. Um, it's probably drawing, uh, well, here it is. It's drawing. Um, 130 milliamps and that's what's actually getting to the cell on the back end of the Bedini at 2.67 volts and it's producing uh, it's producing gas I mean it is working and uh, it would not work without the uh, the light in the solution it was absolutely critical that there be uh, the correct electrolyte for this to produce any sort of gas at all but the difference between running with just uh, 12 volts um, and running with um, the Bedini is a uh, night and day. Uh, it really, really, really boils when you throw the the 12 volts to it. And I had this going at about three and a three three and a half amps, and it was just boiling. But I wanted to see what it would do with the uh, high voltage spikes coming off of the back of the Bedini motor. Now there's no capacitor on this to store up the energy. It's just going straight into the cell. And like I say, there's the voltage that's hitting it right there. It's a 2.66 at the cell and uh, 1. Point, or I'm sorry, 120, 130 uh, milliamp draw out of the power source going through the Bedini motor at SSG. Anyway, that's my first attempt at a, a um, HHO electrolyzer.